And that's the kind of results you're looking at. Nice and golden brown, not burned. These little, I like to make these little catfish nuggets or catfish fish sticks. The kids love them. Kids love them. Hey, hey, it's Will with Urban Outdoors DMV. I've been checking out spots on the eastern shore of Maryland because I'm getting ready to move out here. See, we're over here at Unicorn Fishing Lake. Um, I was in there already a couple minutes ago. I can tell you it's pretty cool. One thing I'll regret though is I didn't bring my kayak. So we're going to see what we can do from the shore. This is a pretty cool facility. There's all kinds of water running everywhere. You got creeks, there's small ponds. The lake looks really clean, so I'm looking forward to that. One thing I did notice is that uh, the bluegills were definitely bedding, so they're spawning. I saw a bunch of them sitting on beds, so I honestly don't know if you can catch bluegill that are spawning like you can catch a bass, but I'm probably going to check that out. We're hoping it's going to be a good day. We're also going to try to get some, some fish to cook later, although I don't know, it's probably going to be bluegills, and I don't want to take them off beds if uh, they're spawning, so... If we can get catfish or something else that's edible, we're going to do a fish fry later. Oh. Well, I guess you can do them like bass, but you need a smaller hook. This is a pretty cool place. But honestly, we want some fish to eat. Probably going to get some catfish. Fish are real finicky. I don't know if the bass don't like the temperature change. And Everything else doesn't either, but we're going to switch spots. I want catfish. Yeah, maybe. Oh my god. That one's banging. That might be a snakehead. Yeah, I bet that. What is that? I don't know. Oh, ooh, it's a good eater size cat. Oh, good, honey. Good. Perfect. Just hold it, I'll get it. Excuse me, bud. Yes, good eater size. It's a blue cat. No. Got him. Good job, honey. Look at that. Nice. All right. Perfect. Bye. Perfect eater size. All right. Look how big the stomach is. Yeah. Probably. Good. Perfect eater size, Peanut. You want to eat him later? Oh, we need a uh -huh. another one. That's a one fish. Yeah. That's a lot of meat, honey. We need one more. Come on. Get my hook off. So today was rough. Thank God I had the expert fisherwoman. I got something to take home. We got something to eat. I caught a couple of bluegill today, and that was really about it. I lost the snakehead, which, you know, happens because I lose snakeheads. But the expert fisherwoman hooked up on a nice blue catfish. I'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right. Flaying a delicious catfish is the same as flaying any other type of fish. Start out the head, cut down a little bit. Feel where the rib cage is. Once we get to the end of the ribs, push it through. Ride that tailbone to the back. Right those ribs all the way to the back. Boom. All right, take our knife, follow those ribs down.
Bone them ribs. Sack. It's a female. Alright. One side done. People make filleting catfish harder than it has to be. People like to nail them in the trees and all that stuff. I'm not saying that doesn't work, but all I'm saying is you should just do what you normally do with really any kind of fish. Cut down. Stay on there. Grab the skin. All right, and that's one clean channel cat. Those are the actual side fillets. And this is the stomach fillet right here. This is another piece of the stomach fillet. I kind of messed it up, but you know, we wish we had a bunch of those uh, channels and invasive catfish, but you know, we only got the one today. So, things better than nothing. So this is what I like to do with them because kids are picky. I like to eat stuff when it's smaller. So I like to cut it into nuggets. That's going to be a nice nugget. There's a nice nugget. Another nugget. Another nugget. Got yourself a nice little pile of nuggets. It makes it easier for the kids to deal with. Alright, there you have it. There's one clean filleted Channel cat. She had a ton of roe in there. Um, I know people eat the roe, but I'm not gonna eat the roe. I had to buy some more catfish to supplement another catfish I caught. This is store bought catfish. And you can tell, or maybe you can't tell on the camera, it's got a different tint to this. This is lighter. This is the one that we caught yesterday that I bled. You see the difference? lighter color this one's gonna taste different and better okay you guys seen me do this before catfish egg yolk regular flour panko breadcrumbs Everglades throw that in the batter put your catfish with it real good there too is for good measure supposedly it's already seasoned but whatever simple there you go and the flour although I didn't mean to do all that into the breadcrumbs or excuse me into the egg yolk onto the breadcrumbs Pinkle that up nicely. Boom. Good to go. Right there. We're going to do a whole, so this entire tray. And when you do that whole entire process, that's what you end up with. Here's your oil. I'm doing it outside because my wife hates the way it smells in the house. I want your oil to be about 375. That's what I have now, but it's... I have to turn it down a little bit. It's going to be too hot. Off the charts. 350, 375 is good. After you bread these things up, let them sit for a couple minutes. And then we're gonna put them in real, real easy like. And we're gonna fry them hard. Yes, looking good, smelling good. That's what you want. I cut these things into small strips on purpose. They don't really need to cook long. They're gonna turn that golden brown. You need about a minute and a half at this temperature on both sides. And that's the kind of results you're looking at. 
nice and golden brown, not burned. And these little, I like to make these little catfish nuggets or catfish fish sticks. The kids love them. Kids love them. I made a huge mess, but those are your, that's your catfish. Came out pretty good. What do you think? Good. Good. Right, what do you think? It's good. It's good? Yeah. Good. So remember, next time you go to Blackwater, Susquehanna River, or any place where you can take catfish and you got pesky catfish, just eat them. Especially if you get the blue catfish, because they're really invasive and they're really delicious. See you next time.